Right, carrying on the walk. This should be the Coleridge Walk. I have seen a couple of feathers, but there was nothing at the last two gates. So this is one of the things that goes wrong when they don't are not um, consistent. Uh, in my mind, you should have the signs on every gate because it's so easy to take the wrong turning. You know, if it's not, though this is so obvious, you think, no, of course this is it. But you can tell that animals have been here not that long ago. Fresh tread marks, so you don't know what you're going to meet when you're up here. All I know, I'm heading for Bicknoller, but there wasn't even a sign to Bicknoller. You know? It's about nine years I done ago I done this. I reckon it was about nine years ago I was walking this way. I've never done it this way. I had a very inferior camera in those days. It might have even been a mobile, or if not, it was um, the first Vivitar. It served a purpose. It captured a moment in time. I've still got them, but I never use them because they've got no proper zoom. That's why. It's like you go on the here, like you're carrying on here. Now, what I uh, what I do know is that I don't go up there, right? I know I don't go up there, but what happens about here is, um, I think you've got to go over there, but it doesn't actually tell you. I'll just, I'll just show you what I mean. This could even be the wrong way, by the way. Okay. I know I don't go up there. Ah. Here we do have a sign now. Very, very hidden, wasn't it? I could have even easily have gone down there. So by chance, hidden in that bush, I could see a sign. So we know we're on the right track. But there is a lower one. And I think people could easily have gone down there. You know? Don't know how... Yeah, it isn't very clear, that one. Like I say, in the summer, it's always harder because there's a lot of vegetation, a lot of tall ferns. Um, but you see, there could be a way. In the winter, you might see a track here and there could be a stile there for all we know. I'm going to turn off in a minute. Battery will be getting very low soon. Right, I'm going to stop here. I know I'm on the right track now. I've seen the Coleridge feather. But there is a track there. And you can probably can go across fields. But we're coming close to what will be Big Noller Village in a minute. Over and out. Right. I'm whispering. I just spotted some very big brown cows. Loose. I could even bump into some yet. Yeah. They're in there. There's loads of them. There's them down there. I don't know if they can get up here or not. I'm keeping quiet because I don't want them to see me. Hopefully they can just be down there. Oh, they're huge as well. I think I saw a bull earlier. Probably protected a bit by that wall. Hello tree. Hi big tree. Hi big 
big oak tree. They probably know. They can smell me out about. Yeah, so this is a, a skirting walk on the Coleridge Way, heading for Bicknoller village. I've forgotten actually how far this walk was. Well, I've, I've probably done the, the long route. Um, when I go back, I'll have a hill to climb, but it'll be straight up to Bicknoller Post. I don't mind, because it's all something I had to do. Although normally I don't take risks in, when it's a risky weather day. I can see the village now coming into view down there amongst the trees. The aim is to get to the church again and uh, just take some more pictures. I can't remember if I got inside it or not. There's beautiful views all around here everyone. Beautiful. All out there look. All up to Dungree Beacon. That's the tallest point uh, in Somerset. It's just gone out of view at the moment. I climbed that. I've been on Dun Dungree Beacon and done walks all around that area but I've got to go back that way at some point because there's a church the other side of Dunkery Beacon, the other side of those hills um, I've done some of it near Porlock and above but there's a couple of walks and I might be doing that in September I might be having another week of camping where I camped last time um, I had three or four days and I'll probably I w I'll probably do the same again. <sighs> Lovely oak trees along here. It's got a lot of oak trees, um, the Quantock Hills. I mean, it was hunting ground, you see. The um, barons, nobles, lords and kings and queens and princes would have wanted uh, the trees planted. Also for, like... Um, building their navy, their warships. My battery's very low now. I think I can just see the top of the church and I'm going to put the battery charger on. Yeah. Over and out. Let's just see if it'll play though. I've been following the Coleridge route after we Weecombe Valley. Weecombe. Um, I'll be coming back up this way for a short period and then instead of going left where I've just come I'll go straight up that will be the quicker way back by the way but I wanted to do a circular so I didn't want to do go down and then back up the same way so I incorporated quite a nice little wide circular route down the Weakham Valley and I hadn't done it for a while. Um, I'd done the, the Wickham bit, but I hadn't done the West Coleridge Way from there for quite a long time. And I hadn't done it in reverse. So... <clears throat> this is where you're, you're glad you brought another little top if you need it, when it gets a bit blowy. I, didn't, I nearly brought a jumper and I thought, it's August, Sheila. You're not going to be out here at night, hopefully. And I have got a windshield as well. It's funny how my bag just doesn't feel heavy at all. I feel, I feel like now I could have put a load more in there. And more food. I didn't bring much food. Not like normal, but it's enough. I've got cheese and tomorrow. I've got a packet of crisps. I've just set the cheeselets. I've got a bar a twin bar of twirl chocolate bar and those are sweets two oranges if not three now we need to pay attention here because there are different routes you can take this is called Bicknoller Hill that way okay it would have been the quicker way down but I didn't quite know it and I can't remember it although I've done it before going back up I hadn't done it coming down, so I need to make a note of that for another time. And this is still the Coleridge Way, by the way. This is still the Coleridge Way. The Quantock Greenway is another name for the overall walk 
here and I've done parts of that over near West Bagborough before. I've done parts of that in Crocombe, the West, the Greenway, the Quantock Greenway. Um, so, you can tell we've had a lot of rain. This is going to lead me into the village now. I can already see a Tudory looking building. What well, I can remember, there was a cafe here and a post office. Um, I don't think there might even be a pub. I, I don't really know, actually. Um, I haven't explored, and it's a while ago, and the, any images I've got are really stashed away somewhere. <coughs> they will be on the um, external hard drive somewhere as well, but I've got them all saved to disk. <sighs> They'll all be saved. They will be somewhere. It always pays to get the old stuff out, actually, when you've just done a new update, to see any changes or, obviously, a better camera. Not a necessary a better camera person, though. I'm still humpy-bumpy when I'm going along. But I'm not the BBC, I always say to people. And I probably haven't got it on the right settings, either. I'm not quite sure. I try and fiddle sometimes. Do I have an 18, 10, 5? You know. The other camera really needs to tidy up. Um, it's alright, but it's, it's losing some of its what I call sharpness. It needs to go off and be looked at. But then you can buy another one, you see. But they're not cheap. They're about £350, £400. These little cameras. I want to get the next one, which goes up again to 30. Like this is a 20. Or it might, this might be a 30. No, there's a bigger one than that I want to get. So there we are. We've come down there. I can hear those cows mooing. Um, there do seem to be a lot of herds out, and they are doing damage. They've eaten the little trees that were planted up on the memorial place for, above um, Holford. The cows have um, destroyed the trees there, the little tiny saplings. So that isn't good. I think they'll have to put a fence around it while they're growing. They'll have to do something. Because each one of those trees represents somebody. I was saying, you can tell it's old by the chimney pots and the tiles. Obviously, they get done up. <coughs> they get done up. Although it don't look much when you're walking down. This, this is quite steep when I've got to come back up it later. And if we look back, we can see the hills where I've got to get. Can you see them? I'll just zoom in a minute. Yeah, I'll have to get right up on the top there. Well, over a bit towards the right, actually. Well, that's Bicknoller Hill. And there are, what do you remember, there are ancient mounds and things up there. Or circles or something. But you see them better in the winter. Not many walkers about today. Yeah, there's a bit more um, of the hill there, look. I'm not quite sure which part I've got to climb up yet, but we just follow that main bridle path on the way back. Yeah, this is where the people come for the cream tea, I think. I mean, it might have a pub. Oh, God, no idea, I just can't remember. Because I always carry my own stuff. The most I ever get is um, a cold drink and an ice cream if I'm anywhere. Um, I won't be getting any drinks. I've got plenty of fluids. Um, I'll probably just get... Um, I might get an ice cream. I might not. It's a bit... I don't know yet. I can take pictures of this on the way back. So I'm not going to do any now. I'm just going to do a little video as we come into the village. So you can walk from Holford. You don't have to do all the walk I've done if you just want to come up through Holford and find that bridle path and come over the top. Okay?
I'm just going to fit this in before the weather changes. Coombe House here. Before the weather changes. Over and out.